Did you know that Emperor Rudolf II, the Holy Roman Emperor and King of Bohemia from 1552 to 1612, held one of the most diverse collections of his time in his Kunst und Wunderkammer? This collection housed in the castle of Prague was not simply a gallery, but a microcosm of the universe itself filled with art, exotic animals, minerals, and a myriad of other wonders. Rudolf II was a passionate collector, continually sending agents across Europe to procure new objects for his collection. When certain items couldn't be acquired, he wouldn't hesitate to have them copied. This collection was meant to be a representation of the cosmos, a testament to the richness and diversity of the universe. The Kunst und Wunderkammer was a veritable treasure trove, brimming with paintings, bronze figures, coins, lapidary work, and much more. One could find a striking array of objects from chameleons to crocodiles, vessels of agate and crystal, objects of ivory, amber and coral, and even mathematical instruments. If a stuffed specimen was not available, Rudolf would commission paintings of the animals instead, resulting in incredible depictions of creatures like unicorns, dragons, and mandrakes. However, this vast collection was not to last. In 1648, Swedish forces captured Prague and plundered the Kunst und Wunderkammer. The stolen items included 470 paintings, 69 bronze figures, several thousand coins and medals, 179 objects of ivory, 50 objects of amber and coral, 600 vessels of agate and crystal, 174 works of faience, 403 Indian curiosa, 185 works of precious stone, uncut diamonds, more than 300 mathematical instruments, and many other objects. Today, only fragments of this once extensive collection survive, housed in the Vienna collections. Despite its tragic end, the Kunst und Wunderkammer of Emperor Rudolf II remains a remarkable testament to the Emperor's pansophical view of the world. His fascination with natural phenomena and his desire to represent the universe in his collection highlights his unique approach to collecting. His commitment to his collection, whether it was through acquiring new pieces or commissioning replicas, underscores the importance he placed on the Kunst und Wunderkammer. Rudolf II's collection was not just a hobby, but a representation of the universe itself, a microcosm, reflecting the grandeur and diversity of the cosmos. As the sands of his life began to run low, Emperor Rudolf II sought solace, not in the ministrations of his physicians, but in the mystical properties of his bezoar. A prized artifact in his collection, this bezoar, an antidote of sorts, was believed to be a panacea for all ailments. In his desperation, Rudolf II dismissed his medical doctors, placing his faith in this costly artifact instead. This bezoar, worth the modern equivalent of five million, was the emperor's last hope, his final shot at survival. But alas, the Bezor's promises of curing all maladies fell short. Despite the wealth and the vast collection he possessed, none could save him from the inexorable march of time and the frailty of his own body. Three days after consuming the Bezor, Emperor Rudolf II breathed his last, leaving behind a legacy etched in the annals of history and a collection that remains a testament to his expansive view of the universe.